So guys, I'm in London again. Um, I've got three back-to-back -back flights. So I'm gonna be staying here for the next couple of days. This happened to me on my first flight. Didn't sleep the night before. It was like 10 hours. By the time I got home, I was exhausted. You know when you're really fighting yourself? Like struggling to go sleep? That's me right now. I've left the curtains open. It's outside at 3 a.m. I left the curtains open so the room's not like completely pitch black. <sighs> do you guys have any points? Any pointers? Like, what do you do when you can't get to sleep? Because I've tried everything at this point and I don't know what to do. goodness hey vloggy vlog it is um, just gone midnight and i've not long got in clean my makeup off heads hurting just take two paracetamol it's been a long long last day we went to tenerife um upon coming back we almost couldn't land because the wind was just crazy and there were six planes ahead of us that had to kind of just divert it because they couldn't land the wind was mad but luckily we got on the ground. If we couldn't have landed, we probably would have ended up somewhere in Europe and just stayed there overnight, maybe France or somewhere close. But yeah, luckily we did. So tomorrow I do it all again. Tomorrow I'm going to Alicante. Um, I don't report until about 11 something. So it's just gone midnight. Hopefully I can get to sleep in an hour. I did not sleep last night. I don't know why I do that, but I'm gonna try not to play on my, play on my phone tonight so I can get some rest. I would have vlogged more, but it was such a mad day. I just know the next couple of days are going to be really exhausting for me. It was good fun though. I always meet the best crew. So I met this Jamaican guy and me and him were just bantering the whole flight and, you know, doing the thing. So it's funny because I feel like I always meet people that matches my energy. Um, people who was on the same program as me we all have a group chat and people always talk about their experiences and the you know their day and stuff and i've realized that people just attract what they are people's experiences sometimes is just a reflection of their own character i know that sounds funny but minds are always opposite i attract people who have similar energy to me always crazy always banting do you know what i mean so anyway I'm gonna go to sleep because, yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna try and vlog a bit more t tomorrow. I don't know how much I'll be able to, but it literally, the minute you put that uniform on and you're on duty, it literally becomes so intense. So yeah, and because it's like short haul, the turnarounds are crazy, so. Anyway guys, I really should get like a good night's sleep tonight, so. I'm gonna go, speak to you soon. Look at that sun after that storm last night. Jeez, beautiful out here. Guys, I slept. You know I didn't sleep before my first flight. I slept. I look awful, but I slept. So, I can't even see you, it's too bright. So I did get some sleep and today we do it all over again. <laughs> Being sarcastic. Oh, sorry, my eyes are itchy. Uh, yeah. This is a happy girl. I've slept 
so i've just got up um i've got a reporting time of 11 something so i need to i need to steam my uniform because i didn't do it last night i was too tired so i'm gonna make some coffee steam my uniform <laughs> sorry i'm just so happy i had sleep feel good steam my uniform have some coffee shower and get myself together last night i was like i'm probably gonna call in this morning because i was so tired but you know i didn't sleep before that flight and that flight was a long flight we was there for a good t it was 10 hours and then because we we came back in a storm and then there was a possibility that we was going to divert to europe and stay there because we couldn't land and anyway i can't see properly because the sun but yeah just heading out so today's my last flight because i don't know if i mentioned to you guys i had three flights in a row back to back so i went to tenerife alicante today i'm going to malta and then after today i should be should have a couple days off so i'm going home tomorrow just to chillax so i want today to go quick and fast but i doubt it's going to happen because um the weather looks really bad so i don't know how that's going to affect us hopefully fingers crossed we don't get delayed or anything like that um and my flight is not until 3.20, so I'm possibly not getting back until about midnight tonight, which I'm not looking forward to, but at least after that I can just relax. Anyway, I'm going to get going now because I've got some stuff to do in the crew room before we head out. And yeah, love, peace and hair grease. <laughs> so we are now in Morocco. just got back it's i think it's nearly i think it's half 11 and yeah this is like my third flight in a row done and tomorrow i go home and i'm looking forward to my day off so let me just get change and i'm gonna start just packing up so i can have a nice lie in tomorrow by the time i get up everything's packed up i just need to go pick up my car do all my bits and bobs and yeah anyway let me get myself sorted guys i am tired i'm extremely tired and uh, i don't know i don't i don't like vlogging off my phone as you know but yeah tomorrow when i get up before i leave i probably just like touch base with you okay morning guys can you see me can you hear me still on my phone so i don't know how the audio sounds anyway i've just got oh damn I need to wash this when i get home just got up had a shower gonna get ready and head out and head home and i'm so happy to go home um i don't like this angle i'm gonna put some clothes on and head out and we'll, i'll be back So, just finished showering, get ready, and I'm about to head out, all packed and ready to go. Um, I need to get another one of these hats. I wear this hat so much. I've got about three of them. I've got a white one and a red one. I don't ever wear them. I just think I don't like the colours. I think I need to get like a beige and a brown one so I can wear them as well. Yeah, okay, notifications coming in on my phone. Anyway, finished my 
my flights and I'm heading back home now. I've got so much to sort out when I get back home. Hopefully I can get my camera sorted so I can properly vlog because I feel like I'm kind of doing a, not a great job doing it on my phone. Anyway, I just thought, let me just touch base quickly. I'm about to head out. It was very hot in this room. I don't know if outside is reflecting what I'm feeling in here or maybe I just had the heating on full blast. But yeah. You can call me the original bag lady now. I've got bags for days. I've got a suitcase, a bag, a waitrose bag, a rucksack. Bloody hell. But literally, look. Full of bags. Got those and that. And that's me. You know we're not going to leave our crux, right? We love our crux. You know what? I'm going to get a bright pink one just to piss everyone off. Because I get cussed about these all the time. And I just like don't ever take them off my feet. And I'm going to get a bright pink one just to piss off everyone now. You've done it now. You've pissed me off. Right, guys, I'll catch up with you at some point. good to be out here not wearing my uniform because I feel like the minute you put your uniform on and you walk out here like people just look at you constantly feel like you just can't do anything so it just feels good to just be incognito out here anyway look at my shirt literally just ripped one hole where's the other one two hole bloody hell I really like this top as well it's quite comfortable but yeah just waiting on the bus to take me to the car park. I'm gonna stop at the petrol garage, get some petrol. And I'm gonna be on my way home. Yay, I'm so happy. Me and my bags. Anyway guys, I think there's a bus coming. See, no, that's short stay. South Terminal, no, that's not, is that it? I think they've been Hang on. Anyway. Okay guys, I've just got petrol, ready to take the motor away. So me and the guy in at the till was just like speaking about our love for pop chips. We were speaking about this for about 10 minutes. He's telling me about the different flavors and how much he loves them. I'm like, so am I, we're so addicted to them. Guys, I basically live off fruits on the road. I find that this job, I can easily fall into a trap of becoming really unhealthy if I don't look after myself, so. I try not to get like loads of sweets and chocolates. I try to get like hot meals and then I'll get like packs of fruits, like a tub of grapes and just munch on that or a bag of oranges or nectarines, etc. Because if I'm not careful, I'll just be start, I'll just start eating really badly and I don't want that for myself because I really do look after myself. Anyway, let's go. I'm here watching this series I was watching last night on, uh, what's this, Disney called Betrayal. Um, and I'm just like, yeah. But yeah, this is just like amazing. Like, it just reminds me of like my long-term relationship, how long you can be with someone and just still not know them. This woman thought she married the perfect guy. The way he used to love bomb her, he would leave her love notes every day, every uh, where. And, you know, he was a teacher and everybody just saw him as the perfect man. This man has a whole double life. Um... It came out that he sexually assaulted students. They had business. He was just fucking escorts, prostitutes, everything. It's so scary that you can live with people and not really know them. And I think what, what I always, I don't like people who tries to appear perfect. I like people that show you all aspect of them because I feel like we are made up of good and bad and everybody has a shadow side to them. 
and it's like when people just like to appear like they're perfect they these are the people with the most skeleton in their closet the most demons everything i'd never trust people like that that's why I, that's not something that's not an image i like for myself like people like to be judgmental you know how your teacher you do this how you that listen i twerk i swear i cuss i drink i don't like to appear perfect i'm a human being and i'm here experiencing the full spectrum of my humanity and i think this is a healthy way to exist but yeah this poor woman man i just feel her pain like she questioned her whole marriage like who was she was it any of it real who was this guy anyway here i am just invested in this um well, i should be really doing a haul for you i will come back with a haul it's not that exciting it's just little bits that i've ordered that i need um for my job but yeah i'm gonna finish watching this and actually i'm editing a skincare video and i'll see you tomorrow or whenever i do that haul for you poor woman okay guys we're on the move again my living room floor constantly looks like this like suitcases and just stuff everywhere i need to pack now because i'm on the move god i don't know where my vlogs are anymore and i'm still using my phone hopefully next month camera's getting fixed so i'm packing because i'm about to head out again i said i was going to give you a haul and i can't remember what is it i was going to give you a haul of i don't know i think there were some bits i got but i don't know what that okay i'll show you that So some essentials, I have got this, these, which, you know, um, you need to put all your liquids in to, because I, I usually just take a cabin case with me and a topper bag. So I put all my liquids and stuff in this and I don't take all of it with me on the plane. Sometimes I'll probably take one and leave one back in the hotel or my accommodation or wherever I'm staying. So I've got that from Amazon. Um, I got these. Where is it gone? For my uniform because I don't really like to fold them up and put them in my bag because when I do that, they like extra scrunched up and that just means more ironing for me. So I've got these where I can like keep them on a hanger and just like put them in the boot of my car. So I've got this one, it's like a pack of two. And I've got another one in the car, which is a long one. And that one's got my, um, my jacket and my other um, set of uniform. My other set of uniform is trousers. I don't think you've ever seen me worn that because I've never actually worn it. I don't know how I feel about it. I really wish I could have just had um, skirts and dresses, but it's the tattoo on my, my hand why I can't have the dress because the dress is short sleeve. Where is the zip for this thing? Come on now. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, is it up here? Where is, is it? Bear with. Found. So yeah, I've just put like my blazer and my skirt in there. And I just feel like it's a better way to like take good care of it, you know? And preserve it because... Yeah, so like when I throw them down in the boot of my car, don't get too dirty so and then I put like I've got, a, I've got another one somewhere yeah I've got more so I got these off Amazon and oh there's some stuff in the kitchen actually Hang on. I also got this lunch box um and it's got like this kind of uh thing in it insulation that keeps the food cold or hot um you're allowed to bring your own lunch to work um sometimes I do but most of the times I'll just buy sandwiches and fruits on the way and most of the time, sometimes I'll eat on the plane, you know. Um, I've got my own cutlery um, set for the purpose of like when I'm staying in hotels and stuff. And I've got my own food. I don't, I have a thing like don't like using public cutlery. And if I do, like I get vinegar and I wet a piece of serviette and I proper clean it. Because like, I don't know, I'm just really scornful like that. So um, yeah, I got that. What else did I get? I don't know trying to think and I was like yeah I've got this haul I'm gonna show you and I don't know what the hell I'm trying to show you um that's it other than that I just got bits and bobs like in boots like travel size stuff um like mouthwash mouthwash and um stuff and stuff like that um 
stop playing with me. I have a flight early tomorrow morning, so I need to make sure. Um, I need to make sure I head out now. So I'll give myself enough time to rest, get my uniform sorted, all that jazz. Um, oh yeah, this topper bag, you've seen it in other vlogs. I didn't even get this off Amazon. I got this off a specific website for like cabin crews. And it's really good because it's got this little like thing here that you can stick it in the top of your cabin bag handle and it rests on top of it. So that's quite handy. I should do a video separately on what I carry in my bag. So you can see what I've got with me on a daily basis. Like for instance, as a cabin crew, you need two pairs of shoes. You need heels for the ground and you need flats for when you're on board. Um, so I will do a separate video at some point just to show you what I carry in my bag and why. But <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's more stuff I got. I just don't, can't remember because I've left it so long. Anyway, guys, I need to pack and I need to go. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys, so I am here and I thought before I start like um, settling down, getting myself together, let me just quickly talk to you. I don't like the lighting in here. Um, hang on, let me go to the window. Um, so basically, uh, oh, I love looking at the sky. Let me see if I can put you up here. Will you stay? I'm not even covering the bloody speaker. I? Anyway, that's not a good position. Is that a good position? That's not a good position. Basically, guys, so. <sighs> what I'm doing now is currently called short haul, right? <laughs> So I, we don't really stop over with short haul. You basically go to, um, basically what I'm doing now, like all my flights are in Europe or the furthest one we'll go to is places like Pavos, Cyprus, Sham in Egypt, Marrakesh. So I'm doing short haul. And my reason for doing short haul is basically you will rack up a lot of experience in a short space of time. With short haul, you've got anything on average between nine it could be from nine to 14 flights per month. With long haul, you're doing about four flights per month because obviously you have to stop over, you're going into different time zones. Um, and then when you come back across, you have to get climatized again before they can send you into another time zone again. So I'm, I started off doing short haul. This is, this is how I wanna do it. Like you have to have strategy in everything you're doing. And for me, this is gonna give me a lot of experience in a short space of time. Um, I'm not worried about the travel factor yet because I get lots of benefits uh, from the organization and I'm going to eventually move to long haul. Um, for me, like this is working now. I can still come back on base. Like I don't want to completely leave my daughter yet and stuff. So that's why this is working for me now. So um, people go come into this job for many different reasons and you have to come into this job with strategy and make sure it's working for you. So like tomorrow I have a flight to... I'm doing what we call a four sector day. It means um, because the f my first flight is so short, I'm going on a second flight, um, maybe with the same air, maybe with the same aircraft. So early in the morning, I've got to go to Amsterdam. Amsterdam is about an hour and a little bit there. So we leave from the airport in the UK, go to Amsterdam, drop the passengers off, take the passengers from Amsterdam back to the UK, and then I'm going to leave from the UK again and go to. Um, where am I going after Amsterdam? I think it's Porto. I can't remember, but I'm leaving from... So, to Amsterdam, back. Um, from here, somewhere else, back again. That's a four-sector day. So, like, 
with flights like this it's gonna be a long day because i start eight and i don't finish till eight in the night but i'm racking up a lot of flying hours and i'm racking up a lot of experience a lot of different passengers so it's given me a chance to learn all the different positions um on the plane and stuff like i just move around and you know get to learn like everything so you'll get a lot of experience in a short space of time of short haul you just don't get the benefits of stopping over you stop over if weather conditions or if the aircraft is faulty or just anything any issues with safety where you know they feel like it's not appropriate to come back then you'll stop over like the other day when we had a storm um and you know it was very windy if it wasn't safe to land we was going to just go to paris and stay there because one of our aircrafts went there and stayed there overnight so um the aircraft i was on you know the pilot did a go around once just to make sure and then he was comfortable landing and we landed safely um there was other aircraft that day that didn't land because you know it was really that windy so stopovers at the minute like it's coming in with certain places but for now like it's mostly short haul so you go there and you come back so i want to do this for maybe a solid six nine months to a year and i feel like once i'm comfortable with this like long haul is a piece of you know piece of cake um i want to rack up a lot of experience in a short space of time and i have to be honest like the more flights you go on it's like you're doing the same protocols over and over like it registers whereas with like long haul you're not getting that experience that much you're in the air longer obviously but you know like four times a month versus 14 or nine you know so yeah anyway so, so that's how it's kind of set up for me for now um yeah so far i'm really enjoying it i'm enjoying this the experience i'm just taking it all in and that's what i'm really using this for you know as i said you have to kind of move with strategy um everything's been good so far fingers crossed i think was it my last flight i think coming back i had an anxious flyer who was very like scared because it was windy and she came to the back and I just pull the curtain and let her sit with me. And she was just kind of having like a panic attack, I think. Um, she was just working herself because I know what that's like. I could I could see what she was going through because I know I've had that experience that she was having. Um, and I, she just worked herself up and it was a mental thing that she, you know, didn't feel safe because she she watched the news and it said this wind and this storm. And, and I kept on just reassuring her. I'm like, you're safe. Don't worry, you're safe. I just kept on giving her that affirmation and mantra in her head that she's safe because I realised it was a mental thing. And then um, she just like started to get really panicky and hot. So I started to fan her. I was offering her drinks and water. She didn't want it. So I just started to do like breathing exercises with, with her. You guys, you guys, you guys know me, right? You know me. So I started to do breathing exercise, hold, big hex exhale. And, you know, she worked herself up into the peak of her anxiety and i could see the stages she's going through and i know it because i've had it myself so i just said to her i was like um is it okay if i give you a hug and she said yes and i gave her a hug and i squeezed her so tight and literally after i hugged her she just released it by just started crying and she just started to come down after that like started to come down um and then i started to just talk to her just about everyday stuff just to distract her mind from her own fears and then eventually we was calm we were just around the back talking um so yeah like you know that was quite good um you know i give magical hugs healing magical hugs <laughs> so yeah that was quite good um in terms of like just outcome and stuff but yeah anyway guys you know the drill i'm back here in london i've got to go steam my uniform i have an early briefing tomorrow and yeah the sky looks really beautiful and I don't think I've got anything else to say other than I need to go sort myself out, unpacked and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you want to see the sky? Let me show you before I go. In fact, this might be the end of this vlog, guys, because I feel like I don't want to make these vlogs too long. I think I want to make them between 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs>